Welcome back, everyone. Today I'm going to be telling you why theory sucks. Okay, okay, so theory doesn't suck, per se, but I do think that the way a lot of leftists talk about theory can be a bit of a problem. And to be clear on what I'm talking about here, I'm just going to pop up the Wikipedia definition of political theory or philosophy for you guys real quick. And that says that it is the study of topics such as politics, liberty, justice, property, rights, law, and the enforcement of laws by authorities, what they are, if they are needed, what makes the government legitimate, what rights and freedoms it should protect, what form it should take, what the law is, and what duties citizens owe to a legitimate government, if any, and when it may be legitimately overthrown, if ever. And I think that works pretty well for what I'm going to be talking about today. Some popular examples of political theory that you might know are the Communist Manifesto or the Conquest of Bread. Now, there's a good chance you're going to be hearing a lot about theory if you're getting into these online leftist spaces. A big part of the whole bread tube thing is adhering to a sort of academic standard with good sources and citations. And I think that's a good thing, let me be clear. Uh, but I also think we can sometimes get into some elitist territory, so let's talk about that. I'm going to take you back in time in my own life for a bit, so, so just c come, come step into my shoes here. Imagine that you're a young person who works a full-time job in the service industry while also attending the local technical college, or I think I think you guys call them like community colleges up north. Um, you get up in the morning, you make the commute to school, sit through some classes, catch up on your homework, and then change into your work uniform in the school bathroom and head over to your job. You work through the closing shift, get home around, say, 10 p.m., after which you promptly turn off your brain, so not to YouTube for a while, and then go to sleep so you can wake up for school the next morning. Now imagine that you've been getting progressively more disillusioned with capitalism. You see how so many of the people around you are working multiple jobs and still barely getting by. You see how little power you have over your working conditions. You see real material failings of the system you're living in in your day-to-day -day life. And electoral politics aren't like looking like such a good solution to you anymore. You see that a presidential candidate who lost the popular vote still became the president. You see that the majority of your fellow citizens want universal health care, but that you and people you care about are still uninsured. At this point, you're looking for something new. You're tired of investing your political energy in the Democratic Party like you used to because you're not so sure anymore that they care about you. So maybe you start developing an interest in things like communism or anarchism, but you don't know much about them. You don't really know where to start. And, and then you get told to just read the Communist Manifesto or the Conquest of Bread. Are you gonna do that? No. <laughs> you're at work or school most of the time, and when you're not, you don't want to be reading political theory. You want to be either sleeping or spending time with your family or your girlfriend. So you just push it off. It took me a while to get to my current ideology of anarchism, a lot longer than it probably would have if I'd been presented with more accessible information earlier on. Under capitalism, time and energy are a privilege. Not everyone has that. It's really only during this global pandemic, while uh, being temporarily unemployed, that I've actually had time to like read a book. And I'm just saying, when I hear some of you guys talking about people not reading theory because they're lazy, mm, you sound a little like capitalist to me is all. We gotta think about the material conditions. Uh, plus, aside from even time considerations, what about people with, like, learning disabilities that make it difficult for them to read? What would you like them to do? My main point is this. Theory can be good. It can be important. But we cannot expect every single person in the movement to dig through all that. When we put reading theory up on a pedestal, we can end up excluding a lot of people. And you're gonna, like, that's gonna be a pretty bad revolution if we don't make it easily accessible to the poor and working class. Like, you straight up cannot do a communism without them. <laughs> and this is why I'm very supportive of people who do read theory and then explain it in more accessible ways. I'm gonna link some YouTubers down below who do just that. That's how y'all got me over here. <laughs> And if we actually want to get more people on our side, I think that's how we're going to have to do it. Not just through the YouTube videos, but also by talking to people in our lives. There's a lot of people out there who are sympathetic to leftist ideas, but just don't know a lot about leftism yet. So don't scare them away with suggesting theory right off the bat. Just, like, talk to them. Hello, 
friends, thank you for watching my video. I know it's been a little while since my last one, I have been kind of busy, and I've been out in the streets with Black Lives Matter a lot, and me and some other community members are trying to get a food.bombs chapter going, so it's, it's time consuming. <laughs> And like I said, you can find some nice accessible videos about political theory in my description. And something off the topic of theory, but on the topic of accessibility. Um, I didn't really know where else to put this, but while I was researching for something else entirely, I found this booklet from the Autism Self Advocacy Network that explains a lot of stuff about the Black Lives Matter movement in plain language, uh, which is amazing, and I'm going to link that too. I hope you're doing good, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.